This is how you can customize and generate a QR code totally for free with no signups. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer and this is Dire Graphics. So the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and type in qrcode-monkey.com and then you'll get to this website right here. And the cool thing about this website is that it lets you customize and generate QR codes for free without you having to create a user profile just to download the QR code. So when the website is open, you have all these options depending on if you want to make a QR code for a URL, a text, an email, or you can even choose Wi-Fi if you want to make a QR code for your friends to log in on your Wi-Fi easily. For this tutorial, I'll be creating a QR code that links to my YouTube channel. For this, I'll choose YouTube. Then the first thing you want to do is enter the content. In this case, that's the URL for my YouTube channel. And the website unfortunately do not update in real time. So if you want to watch how the changes look, simply just click create QR code. And if you just want a basic QR code like this and you don't want to customize it, you're basically done right now and you can just click PDF to download the QR code as a PDF. But if you want to customize your QR code, stay in the video a little bit longer. And in the end of the video, I'll show you how to customize the QR code even further inside Adobe Illustrator. But this step is optional and you don't have to do it. So now after entering the content, the next step is to set the colors. So click set colors. And from here you can choose a color from the picker. Or you can type in the hex code. For this tutorial, I'll be using my signature purple color. Then click create QR code to watch the changes. And if you want, you can even do color gradients. And that will look like this but I suggest you use single color. And that's because if you choose gradient, you cannot export the QR code as a PDF file. And you want to export the QR code as a PDF file because a PDF file is vectorized. This just means that you can scale the QR code up and down without losing quality. And that's very important so it's always readable. Now you can choose your background color if you want to. Maybe you want a background color that matches the color of the product you want to use the QR code for, like a business card or a flyer. Just be aware that if you use a background color, you want to make sure that there's a lot of contrast between the background color and the QR code. So don't do something like this, for example. And the program will even warn you if it thinks there's too little contrast. For this example, I'll just use the regular white. Now if you want, you can add a logo. This is a QR code for a YouTube link, so I could use the YouTube logo if I want to. That will look like this. But personally, I think it looks better without a logo. Now let's move on to customize the sign. And here you can customize the shape of all these small dots and the iframes. So if you want to make the QR code a little bit more unique, you can choose a body shape, an iframe shape and an eyeball shape. And click create QR code to watch the changes. So now after designing your QR code, it's time to export the QR code. And even though the download PNG button is the most flashy on the site, I suggest not using the PNG button unless you used gradients for your QR code. If you haven't used the gradients, I suggest using the PDF file. And as I said before, that's because the PDF can be scaled up and down without losing quality. And when you click the button, you'll get this pop-up right here. But you don't have to sign in, simply just wait a couple of seconds. And now the PDF is downloaded and ready to use. So let's close the PDF and this pop-up right here. So if you want to customize your QR code even further inside a graphic design program like Adobe Illustrator, instead of choosing the PDF, you want to download it as an EPS file. So let's click this button. And once again, there will be a pop-up and you just wait a couple of seconds. And now the EPS file is downloaded to my computer. So let's close down this site. We don't need that anymore. And over here is my PDF and my EPS file. So now if you have a graphic design program like Adobe Illustrator, you can simply double click this file and open it up. And from here you have a fully customizable QR code in vector graphics, meaning that you can scale it up and down without losing quality. So to customize the QR code, we want to ungroup it first. So click on the QR code, then right click the mouse button and select ungroup. From here we can actually delete the white background right here leaving a transparent background without the white box. And now using Adobe Illustrator, you can customize every bit of this QR code. So even if I just want this tiny square to be another color, I can do that. Or you can change the color of the iframes if you want to. For this tutorial, I'll be using the blue color for the entire QR code. And when you're done customizing, you may be able to see that there are some small lines separating all these squares and dots. If you don't want these, you can simply select the entire QR code 
And by the way, while customizing the QR code, make sure you don't move any of these bits right here. Then the QR code will not work. So when the entire QR code are selected, go to this panel right here that says Pathfinder. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Then go to this button right here that says Unite. This will merge all the shapes together, so it's not split into all these small shapes. And this will remove the small lines. And now you can add a background color if you want to. I'll choose a dark purple color. And send it to the back. And when you're done designing your QR code, it's very important to test the QR code to see if it actually works. And as you can see right here, this QR code works perfectly. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.